And today on Have a Knife Day here at Blade Show, Georgia 2023. And we're going to meet a maker today. You might know him, Ernest Emerson. Hello, folks. Ernest Emerson, Blade Show 2023. If you're here, welcome. If you couldn't get here, come back next year because we'll be back. And this year we've got our standard fare of all the Emerson knives. Uh, as you might know about us, we're not after five or six new knives every year because we know what, what works. I always look at people and say, because if they say, what kind of knives do you make, Ernie? I always tell them, look, I don't even make knives. I make S-wing hammers for the edge on. And the S-wing hammers that I have are my grandfather's, and they're about 125 years old. So they didn't improve the design of the S-wing hammer. It's still the same hammer he bought 125 years ago. So when we make our knives, if we've got a good knife, there's no reason for us to keep putting new, new, new fangled gadget knives or anything in our line. So what we've got is we've got our CQC7s, our Commanders, we've got a Sheepdog that uh, we designed with Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman, uh, really for law enforcement and military. We've got, uh, oh, you know what, I almost forgot. We also have whiskey. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a moment too. But what we found is, uh, which really works for us, is all of our knives have kind of a community that kind of grows up around each model. And there may be people that all love the A100, people who really love the uh, CQC7, or the Commander. So sometimes you'll see a knife like the Roadhouse, we'll take it out of stock, and then build, maybe move in one new knife, like an Emerson steak knife or something like that, to take its place. But rest assured, every single knife model that we make will be made again at some time in the future. And, and the moment that you take them out of production is the moment that people want them the most. That's absolutely true. And we're not doing it on purpose to, to tease anybody, but we're not a giant knife company. We're a medium-sized knife company, so we don't have the ability to make hundreds of thousands of knives a year. So again, if there's any knives where you're ever like, gosh, I wish they made the Model XYZ again, I'm telling you, it's coming down the pipe at some point in, in the future. And I just wanted to say, if you like whiskey, this is awful good Kentucky straight bourbon that we're doing, and we'll be doing more whiskey also. So. Thank you very much for your time here at the bridge. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, you were doing whiskey tastings here at the show. We had some here at the show where you could come and taste our whiskey. A lot of people like whiskey. I found that out. We're out of whiskey right now, so. Even, even I could use a shot of whiskey right now. Maybe to get my voice back. When I, when I did drink, I was a straight up whiskey man. Beer. Didn't come near, but whiskey was always the way to go. Well, always you know, the way to go. One of the quotes I have on our on a T-shirt: "There's just something about bourbon." There he is. There he is. Wine is fine and candy's dandy, but liquor's quicker. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, uh, Ernest. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on in too. So we'll see you next year, and. Well, hopefully we'll have some more knives and we'll have some more whiskey. And as we leave you, I'm going to go down the line and show you what's left. Thank you so much, Ernest. You're very, very welcome. And have a nice day. We'll see you around tomorrow. Right. Now, if you've ever wondered how everything gets done, that's logistics. And you see all these people back here, they do logistics. They are the heroes that we don't get to see very often. Like you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, everybody, and have a nice day.